very hard to be cool in the beginning. I was like, yeah. <laughs> I was fighting so hard to be like, okay, I, I, can, I can't speak with it properly. <laughs> yeah, we <plotted. laughs> But I'm gonna be this villain, this deadly yeah. badass villain. And, and, then, and every time we talk, it was like this. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so you guys are playing elves. Yes. And right. Yeah. Yeah. Now, what, what did you think when you got the script? We're going fantasy in the hood. Yeah, yeah. I loved it. I love that. Yeah, uh -huh. it's true. You don't get to see I, that often in the hood, you know? It's no. either comedy or drama. Yeah. 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 I read it and I like fell in love like straight away. Um, and it's what I love is that you feel like David's, you know, you can totally feel like the rawness and the authentic feeling that mm -hmm. you can see like when, you know, Harsh Times, End of Watch. Training day, mm -hmm. you know, David's amazing like view on the world. Yeah. But he has this like fantastic like magic to it. And his as understanding well. of yeah. this world, of yeah. the rules of this mm -hmm. world. Yeah. What is so interesting about about the film is how uh, there are two set of rules. I mean, the ones that are very similar to ours. I mean, mm -hmm. we go to work, we try to pay our bills, we try to, you know, take our kids to school. Th those things happen in in the world of bride. I mean, mm -hmm. within this mythology, you see people, you know, I don't like know, a like, normality like, like normality, like mm -hmm. people getting getting fines, and, and you know, you, you get all that. But at the same time, there's a whole different set of rules in terms of, uh, you know, the the works the, going to the, therapy. Yeah, the, 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 <laughs> so it's yeah. very, it was very interesting to explore to explore subjects that are so close to us, issues yeah. that are so relevant. You know, the issue of identity, of empathy of breaking out of stereotypes, of, you know, trying to pursue your true self, you know, and how do you deal with your own identity, you know, uh, uh, in relation to, to, to other people's, you know, niches and, and, yeah. and, 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 and pigeonholes, you know, and, uh, and that, that is fascinating, you know, I think that that's, that's necessary entertainment, mm -hmm. you know. And that made it really grounded. So you're watching the elves and the orcs and the humans, but you don't feel like it's a fantasy. You feel like it's this really gritty, dark yeah. mm -hmm. action movie. What was the best part or the worst part about being an elf, going through the costume? Uh, <laughs> I love the ears. Yeah, yeah. No, I was <laughs> I was rehearsing like all the fight scenes, like in sneakers and in you know a track suit, and then you know I put my suit <laughs> on, and it's so tight, and I'm in this like crazy platforms and the contact lenses makes it impossible to see. It's like everything's blurry and kind of milky. And then we have the teeth that makes it hard to speak. <laughs> so it was like so many things that we were struggling with. But, um, but you know, it's I, I love um, that it feels like, you know, the ears and everything that would like, we have such an amazing team around us and it, and it felt so real, you know, it was like the perfect balance because it didn't go out to become like too crazy. And then it was amazing because we all had the eyes and the teeth and the ears. Yeah, it made us so connected. It, and yeah, so like we, we weren't preparing our characters <laughs> yeah. together all the time, but then when we would meet on set in the scene, you'd be like, oh, you're exactly the same. Like we're using the same instincts and we are speaking the same way because of the teeth and we're seeing the same way because of the eyes and then it makes you have mannerisms and a physicality. But it was very hard to be cool in the beginning. I was like, yeah. I was fighting so hard to be like, okay, I, I can't speak with it properly. Yeah, we <laughs> but I'm gonna be this villain, this deadly yeah. badass villain. And, and, then, and every time we talk, it was like this. Yeah. You know, I mean, we had, we had, we, 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 like we plotted we, for a long like time. That. We plotted against the teeth in different ways. We're very elvish about plotting about that. Like yeah. Trying to talk. Like the three of us, we talked to David in different moments. You know, like we text him like, at text night. Him. You know, now you text, now you text. What did he tell you? And I remember the one day I texted him and said, "Dude, what about these teeth? I think that maybe these teeth." And I, I came up with all this theory about about the teeth and and, and and the reasons to not to not use the teeth. And then he said, "Stop talking to Numi. The teeth are staying." Okay, yeah. so get used to the teeth. And now I love it, you know, but it was it was hard to, yeah. to find the coolness. And the lenses were cool because, as 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 Lucy uh, points out, it gave it gave us a tunnel of vision, mm. so it forced us also to like to. But look also to closer. open all your senses, yeah. like you know, the hearing. You know, you kind of started moving different because you had to be like fully concentrated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I couldn't tell. You guys were great. Thank, Thank you. you. Awesome. Thank you. Knew me, we're badass. <laughs> <laughs>